There's something about fire that's unexplainable. It's beauty, maybe. It never seems to get old. Just sitting there and watching it burn. And you know, it's, it's nights like this that I could just sit out here and watch this fire all night. You know, it also makes me think of a story in the Bible where God described himself with a phrase. It was a phrase that carries so much weight that can't be measured. To the Hebrews, this phrase was powerful. It was one that, when made, the one who made it would be claiming the epitome of existence. I am that I am. In the third chapter of the book of Exodus, God told Moses to lead his people out of Egypt. And Moses said, Who will I tell them sent me? And God said, Tell them, I am that I am. There's something so extremely powerful about this phrase. It declares the omnipotence of God and His eternal nature. The truth is that God had no beginning and no ending, even if that is hard for us to understand. I am means I exist by my own power. I am eternal. I am. Can't even comprehend power like that. The Old Testament is full of references to the nature and power of God. And when Jesus says, Except you believe that I am He, in the eighth chapter of John, it would be right to think of Exodus chapter 3. Jesus was God in the flesh, just like the first chapter of John says. He was there when Moses came to the burning bush, He was there when the plagues were sent upon Egypt. He was there when David slew Goliath, and he was there when Job questioned God. We serve the most powerful being of all, the great I Am, God with the power to speak the universe into existence. <laughs>